Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 14.1. Apple just had their big event, they have announced the new iPhones and alongside they have also released new software updates. One of them is iOS 14.1. Now, this is a very weird update until now, until of making this video, you won't be able to install this over the air i had to install this through itunes so i don't know what's happening when they will release it over the air but they should very very soon so let's go ahead take a look at ios 14.1 and see what this update is all about all right first of all let's go ahead take a look here at the build number the build number for ios 14.1 is 18a8395 this is the new build number for this new update that has just been released now taking a look at iOS 14.1, right here, I have just browsed through my iPhone, looked at different stuff, but I didn't notice any new features or changes. I had a list of all the new features and changes that Apple added to iOS 14.2, and I thought I would be able to find any of them right here, but actually none of them is here. Seems like Apple is releasing this just for the release of the iPhone 12 because the iPhone 12 should come preloaded with iOS 14.1, and I believe they're pushing all the new features to iOS 14.2 which should come later but again this is not a bad update with every update there is always something in the background that apple has worked on now right here on the iphone 7 i ran a test on geekbench so i ran actually two tests one of them was on ios 14.4 14.0.1 and then on 14.1 so right here the old one has this score so on a single core score 779 on the multi-core score 1394 and we had a slight improvement with iOS 14.1 so on the single core score 781 1415 on the multi-core score so that's a really nice update there like a nice improvement on the performance so overall this update should be really good should be more stable of course better battery life and all that but we have of course to take a look at it use it for a few days in order to make sure that everything is okay with this update and it has better battery life and of course better performance as well so again this update comes with the release of the new iphone they will come preloaded with iOS 14.1 of course the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro which will be the first one to be released this month again iOS 14.2 should come later on November and that update will include all the cool new features now we'll keep taking a look at this update and see of course if there's any new feature that we need to talk about and of course the performance battery life and all that and we'll let you know all about that on a future video so that's basically it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one